Uh, I am here today talking about beautiful boredom. I am um, I'm interested in the aesthetics of LARP. I am especially interested in what is particular about LARP. What, in what way is LARP beautiful in ways that maybe other forms of expression or experience are not. Last year in the Somkohta 2020 book, an essay by me and Jamie MacDonald, an essay that we had been working on for seven, eight years, was published titled The Beauty of LARP. In that article, we outline the ways in which LARP is beautiful to see and Oops, <laughs> sorry, spoiler. In, in what way LARP is beautiful to see and beautiful to do. Things that are beautiful to see can be appreciated from the outside by seeing, witnessing, reading them. Things that are beautiful to do are accessible only in the moment of doing. Um, we have significantly more words and concepts for the things that are beautiful to see, building on a millennia of, of uh, discussions on the aesthetics of arts. However, the beautiful to do part of LARP aesthetics has been explored less. We lack names for things. One particular experience that I have been thinking about, and that has also been discussed in the, in the community quite a bit, and I'm certainly drawing on that, is the beauty of boredom. The experience of being bored in character. <laughs> now, boredom, boredom is usually conceived as a negative experience even if it is also important to one's mental health. Uh, boredom is often characterized as <laughs> dull, tedious, lacking uh, interest and stimulation. However, feelings and their meanings are social, uh, and at least some experiences of boredom can also be pleasant. Um, the experience that I'm getting at is the positive experience <laughs> of hanging out in character. The player is present, in the fictional world of the LARP, and they are in character, but they're not really doing anything. <laughs> they are lounging, they're doodling, they're shooting the ch shit, they're chilling, staring into space, while still uh, being within the game. Or maybe they are doing menial, rep repetitive, boring tasks, like doing the dishes or guarding a place. And this is largely by choice. They could be doing something more active, but they don't. <laughs> they're like teenagers. They're like teenagers who complain that they have nothing to do <laughs> when they have all the all kinds of things that they could do, except that the LARP players <laughs> aren't complaining. <laughs> and and there is something enjoyable, meaningful, calming, mindful, fun about this. Uh, now, it is important that my conceptualization of beautiful boredom limits to moments where the player character or player slash character has sort of checked out from the action, but they have not checked out from the LARP. So this is not about the player be being bored with the LARP, but about player being bored at the LARP. In the language of immersion, this would mean that the player is immersed in the character and that the character is bored while the player is not. Uh, however, not all of us do character immersion, and immersion itself is so idealized that talking about beautiful boredom only in relation to immersion would only add to the mythology of immersion and not bring clarity, clarity to the phenomenon of being bored in a nice way at a LARP. <laughs> now, for me, uh, for me, uh, beautiful <laughs> moments used to come up in LARPs that had room to breathe. For example, in prayers at the porcelain altar, I remember lying on a sofa, uh, playing that I'm hungover, barely listening to the pretty interesting conversation that was raging around me. Similarly, I remember uh, slowly, tediously making tea at Melan Himmel Hav. Or in College of Wizardry, sitting outside the castle as a professor, not really knowing what to do, just being there, only to be interrupted by these students <laughs> who had some emergency <laughs> and then shushing them away <laughs> so that I could continue to be bored. <laughs> uh, I mean, all of these LARPs had a lot of things that the players, for the players to do, and they had wonderful action-packed and emotional moments. However, they also had these quiet moments, dull moments, <laughs> 
And some of those were also LARP magic. Because we usually value the epic or the emotional, uh, we are not so good at recognizing the quiet. Uh, but once we recognize this experience on the spectrum, uh, we can start to learn to make room for just chilling in a LARP. Nowadays, I tend to try to foster moments of in-game and chill at the LARPs <laughs> that I frequent. <laughs> Uh, note, that, that, note that I am talking about the player experience here, not design. Designing for boredom uh, is certainly possible, and using tedium as a counterpoint to mo excitement creates dynamic, dynamic LARP arcs and all kind of things. However, uh, I have been a bit hesitant to talk about this matter on record, as my worry is that especially people outside of the LARP world will latch onto this idea. As, and we, man, as many of us know, some of the most cliché, douchey, newbie mistakes that artists working in immersive and participatory arts do are exploring lack of agency, <laughs> or choosing not to participate is participation. <laughs> no. <laughs> you, usually, usually that is just lack of skill and bad design. Lack of agency, lack of structure, lack of rules, do not fast it. I mean, lack, uh, lack of agency, lack of structure, and lack of r rules do very fast lead into tedium and meaninglessness, but not to beautiful boredom. Just the lack of engagement with the world. So before you do exciting stuff, before you can do exciting stuff, stay away from designing for boredom. But going back to the player experience. So how do we understand beautiful boredom? A few years ago, I was uh, chatting about this with game scholar Toril Mortensen, and she commented that maybe the beautiful boredom can be understood culturally. That is similar to going to the cabin to not do anything, or hiking in nature. Here, the core of the experience is being, or walking, and that there is an aesthetic dimension to this. Experience is not just about appreciating nature, for example, sort of the vistas that we see in hiking, or or the quietness of the lake at the cabin, but in the doing. And I do like the idea of LARP being like a hike or stay at the cottage. The idea that, uh, the idea that one has time to appreciate the world and one's place in it, and that one is sort of, and that, that it is by choice that seems relevant. Beautiful boredom in LARP is, is thus kind of like a slacker version of going on to a hike. <laughs> However, this doesn't account for the dullness and lack of stimulation, even if it does have similar appreciation for the surroundings of just being there. But then, does this mean that, um, the cynic in me is asking, uh, that the beauty of boredom in LARP is just escape from the treadmill of capitalism, stolen moments of being present? Yes, yes, it seems that this kind of leisure is so rare that it is now being recognized as an aesthetic. Uh, LARP, as a heightened form of being and doing with others in the world, shines a light on this. Uh, the experience is one that we can now recognize as we both crave it in our lives and we encounter it in the context of artificial framework of a designed LARP. Then even the stillness and slowness in beings is rendered, rendered visible and legible. However, I'm not ready to accept that this is just a reaction to the alienated labor in suicide capitalism, even if that certainly does play a part in it. Uh, game scholar and philosopher Ian Bogost has attempted to get a handle on, on what is fun. And in that process, he has claimed that fun is when we encounter a thing as it is. Uh, taking things as they are. Fun is when we are able to engage with things as they are, not trying to force them into some other expectation or view, use, uh, be it a work task or a playful encounter. For me, fun is not the right word, but Bogost is onto something. I think that one of the aspects of beautiful boredom is taking things, situations, settings, opportunities, and menial tasks as they are. Taking the dull tedium as what it is, is pleasurable and even meaningful. For me, these three points of view help start to unpack how even the best designed and produced sizzling LARP experience can have beauty in the form of boredom. 
It is the luxury of opting out of the hustle and bustle, just being, doing, and not doing in a world filled with possibilities, choosing to engage with in its own terms, but mostly choosing not to engage uh, without checking out of the pocket world of that large fiction. It is allowing oneself to be bored, uh, it's allowing one to be bored when so much is on offer. Uh, it, 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 it sort of being without demands. It is a respite from production and meaning making, a surrender to the situation and self. So in a world filled with simulation and stimulation, experience, efficiency and productivity, being bored is being self-indulgent. It is the decline of the work ethic and decay of morals. In a word, boredom is decadent. <laughs> so, bored LARPers of the world, hear my battle cry. <laughs> Meh. <laughs>